I think katulishe po rumoru imbo. Tetulishe tetulande fupari barungu. Kwa bulo kumfuwa po rumbo. Barungu ba chumwela.
evening. Uh, today, tonight, we are talking ECL. Tonight, we are talking ECL. And uh, I want you to really pay um, particular attention because I'm speaking like a witness. I'm speaking like a witness. A witness is one who was there when something happened or heard something. And I am, I'm not going to uh, beat about the push. I'm going to tell you the truth that a number of times I've interacted with President Edgar Chagualungo. And uh, I, I hope, I mean, I'll be able to express what I think and what, what we have discussed. And I hope he's not going to uh, feel bad. I've not spoken to him. The last time I spoken to President uh, Edgar Chagualungo, I think it is about two, three weeks ago. Today, I haven't spoken to him. Whatever I'm going to say is based on what we have been discussing, you know, where we are coming from. And um, I hope you won't mind me coming out and talk about these issues because I want to clarify a number of issues. And believe me, these issues that I'm going to tell you, it is not propaganda, it is not politics, it is just the truth as it is. It is just the truth as it is. And I'm going to give my opinion the way I think. Not to please President, President Edgar Chagwalungu or, or PF or anyone, no. Or Mundubire, nothing. I am just going to express myself. Somebody is already calling. Please call me after I've, I've finished my presentation. I'll give you time to call in the program, but allow me first to give my presentation. And here is how I'm going to start. I'm going to start from the point of view that there is apprehension. There is apprehension uh, among the UPND um, officials and government, particularly President Haka Inde Ichirema. President Haka Inde Ichirema is so uncomfortable with President Edgar Chagwalungu. This is a fact. I mean, it seems he fears him so much. It seems he fears him so much to an extent that the, from the way I see it, in my personal point of view, the way I see it, if, if Haka Inde Ichirema had the way, he would actually want to have Edgar Chagwalungu locked up in a room without windows and nobody is seeing him and he's not talking to anyone. This is the way I see it. President Haka Inde Ichirema seems to be so preoccupied with Edgar Chagwalungu. I've been saying this and those of you who see and hear what President Haka Inde Ichirema speaks about, I mean, you can clearly see that this man is so preoccupied with, you know, uh, whatever Edgar Lungu is doing. And on the contrary, President Edgar Chagwalungu is not preoccupied with what, with what Haka Inde Ichirema is doing. Believe me, he's not. He's not. Those of, those of us who go to see him, who have a chat one-on-one -on -one with him, it is rare that President Edgar Chagwalungu would waste so much time talking about Edgar uh, uh, Haka Inde Ichirema. And I do remember I do remember some time back when I actually talk, when I was actually talking to him, what he expressed was that desire that he would actually help in some of these issues. And I remember one of the issues that we were discussing at that point, it was the issue of the traditional ceremonies, traditional ceremonies. I think there were traditional ceremonies which were crashing. And, he, you know, he spoke about it. He said, look, you know, we also had this problem, but we sorted, out, we sorted it out in this way. He explained to me how they sorted it out. And he was saying, I wish President, uh, uh, I wish I could talk to President uh, Haka Inde Ichirema about this so that he, he doesn't fall in, a, in the same situation that I feel, whereby, you know, you find that a traditional ceremonies are crashing. They are coming almost at the same time. And you fail, you know, you might attend one, one, one traditional ceremony and you fail to attend the other one. And if you fail to attend 
another traditional ceremony, those people where you don't go, they start complaining. He, Edgar Lungu said this, he told me. He said, I also had this problem. And I wish I could talk to him and uh, help him how we resolved this. And it is true, if you have seen, that uh, there have been traditional ceremonies happening one after the other, and some of them happening almost at the same time. Whereby President Hakainde Ichirema has actually failed to attend certain traditional ceremonies. Remember, even recently, he couldn't attend, he couldn't attend the Nchwara ceremony. He couldn't attend Nchwara ceremony. He, he also went to, to Ruapula, Mutomboko. He had to be there just for a few minutes. He had to, he, he had to leave. And the people there were complaining. So, and so basically from my point of view, he was wishing he could in, engage him and help him on how they managed it. So this is what, for me, this is what I get. That on one side, President, while President Aka Inde Ichirema is so preoccupied with what Ed Galungu is doing, Ed Galungu, on the contrary, is not so preoccupied with what Aka Inde Ichirema is doing. He doesn't talk about him as much as Aka Inde Ichirema is talking about him. And this makes me conclude that it is not true for those of you, because some of you have been saying he has not accepted. No, 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 no. I can tell you this. Ed Galungu has accepted that he lost that election. Some of us do, you know, even talk about to say, but how did they get, you know, over 90% in Southern province and everything? Ed Galungu doesn't even engage on that. He doesn't even engage on that. And some of you may even be privy to some of the discussions that were going on before he handed over power. It is Ed Galungu who decided against, against the, the opinion of other members. It is Ed Galungu who decided to say, we are not going to do anything, I'm going to hand over power. And this is why you saw that Ed Galungu handed over power without going to the, to the corn court to petition the election. Remember that were Davis Mwila and others, they went to Mulungushi and disputed those elections. Remember, even Ed Galungu himself at one point, he wondered, he wondered how some of these, those, those elections came about. But we saw him without wasting time. Soon after the declaration, he said, that's fine, that's it. He even went further to the stadium to hand over power. These are facts. These are not propaganda. These are things that are there. They are there. They are documented. It is Ed Galungu who decided against many others that were saying, no, don't. Don't hand over power. Don't hand over power. Let's petition. Let's do this. Ed Galungu refused. So how can you people today, how can you people today turn around and start saying, no, uh, we don't believe he has accepted. He has not accepted. He's bitter. No, he's not bitter. He's not bitter. He even went to stadium, to, to Hero Stadium, where he was humiliated. He stood there with Tasila, and people were booing him, but he stood firm until the ceremony finished and he handed over power. So I think let us be fair with President uh, Edgar Chagwalungu. It is not that he has not accepted. He has accepted. He accepted the very moment Haka Inde Ichirema was declared winner. He accepted it. And he started the process of handing over power. Soon after that, I think I've made that point. I've packed it. Muilabe Pesha Edigalungu to say, no, he's bitter. He, he has not accepted. He has accepted. And soon after that, in his acceptance, soon after that, Ed Galungu, Ed Galungu did write a letter to, to the a secretary to the cabinet and to the PF. He, he said, I have done my part and I am going to rest. I'm, I'm out of active politics. That is 
a person who has accepted. He said that. He wrote that later. I'm, I'm going to talk about that later because you have been throwing that letter to say, no, what about this letter? As if Ed Galungu has refused to say, I didn't write that letter. He wrote that letter, yes. But you see, when you are resigning, when you are resigning, you resigned, he resigned uh, notifying cabinet about it, but he also had to resign to PF. His party, he also had to resign to PF. He is a president of PF. He's a president of PF and he owes, he owes his uh, obligation number, number one to PF. His obligation number one belongs to PF, it's to PF before anybody else, before government. So yes, there is that letter that you, that you circulate around. Yes, that letter is there. But there is also a letter that was written to PF to the chairman of PF, where Ed Galungu wrote. But in that letter, there is one sentence. I'm going to post that, that letter tomorrow morning. I'll post it. In that letter, where Ed Galungu was saying, me, I'm stepping aside. There is a sentence where he said, I'm, re I'm resigning from active politics, subject to the party choosing another leader according to the constituents according to the constitution because Edgar Lungu cannot just leave the party he's the president he can't just leave the party and he, without a leader there must be a leader even even from the republican point of view the president does not just step out step out to say no i've i've uh, I've, I've resigned no there must be somebody to 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 hand over to and this is the same situation even with the PF. Yes, his intention is, I want to rest. I want to be out of politics. But he cannot do that until such a time when PF will have a president. At the moment, PF doesn't have a president. And as according to, according to the constitution of PF and the events of PF, Ed Galungu he is the president of PF. He is the one who was elected in 2021. Through that convention which was done, people were in the, in the uh, virtual conference where we had people sitting in their provinces. And we were invited. I was invited. Together with Bawinta Kamimba and other political party leaders, we were there. Where Edgar Lungu was elected using that convention, virtual convention, they couldn't come together because of COVID. So they held it, you know, virtually. And Ed Galungu is the one that was elected. And to elect a leader of PF, they must go for the convention. Before they go for the convention and elect a leader, Ed Galungu is still the substantive president of PF. He's still the substantive of PF. What about the letter at cabinets? Yes, there is that later. There is that later. But he cannot leave PF just like that. No. Until a leader is elected. And even in that later, I will, I will find that later and I will post it. I will find that later tomorrow morning and I will post it. So that Muka Iberenge, which was addressed to, to the party chairman. And in that, in that later, Ed Galung was very clear. Subject to somebody being elected and I hand over. Has the convention been held? No, the convention hasn't been held. Has PF chosen another president? No. So if the convention has not been held, if they have not chosen another president, who is the president of PF? Who is the president of PF? Given when there was only acting, pending the processes of going to the convention and choosing another leader. He was only acting, but the substantive president, the substantive president, PF ni Edgar Chagwalungu, who was elected in 2021. And his mandate, according to the PF constitution, ends in 2026. However, at this point in time, Edgar Lungu wants to step aside from politics. He wants to step aside from politics. 
But what is holding him is the fact that PF has not chosen the president. And of course, others will start asking to say, but why haven't they chosen a president since they, uh, they, they, the elections were held uh, one year, six months ago? Why haven't they chosen a president? There is a process. I had a very good chat with the Honorable Given Lubin. That there is a process. One, one of the processes which, is, which they want to do, number one, is to make sure that they align, they change the constitution to allow certain things, to change certain things in the constitution. Not to change anything to suit Edgar Chagwalungu, uh -uh. but to change the constitution to suit other members. One of the issues that they want to change in the constitution is the issue of who can participate as, as a candidate to be elected as president. This is one of the issues. In that, in the current constitution, in the current constitution, some of those people who have expressed the interest to contest as president, they are not qualified. They are not qualified because some of them, they left the party, went and formed the political parties. And since they came back, they haven't been in the party, I think, for five years, for a period which qualifies them to be candidates. They haven't been since they came back. You can't say, no, 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 Bakambuidi, for example, Bakambuidi, you can't say, no, Bakambuidi has been in the party from inception. No, he has been in the party from, he was with the party from inception, but he left the party, he quit, he came back. So the membership broke. When he came back, we start counting from the time that he, he rejoined the PF. And surely that time does not qualify Bakambuidi to contest but GBM also does not qualify. A Mao Samba, it is debatable. There may be others that you may include there. But they want to change the constitution so that even members who haven't been long, like Vakambuidi, like the GBM, they can also participate. This is what they want. This is one law. Another issue, which is very important, is the issue, according to PF constitution, the one who is elected president is the one that should contest as Republican president. And like we have seen where we are coming from, whereby some candidates have been barred from contesting. Now, PF have said they have seen a danger. They have seen a danger to say, if we say the, the one who is elected as president is the one that should uh, contest as Republican president, Suppose that person at, on the day of nomination is arrested. Then what happens to PF? Eh? The president of PF is the only one who can contest as Republican president. Now, that is according to the constitution. Now, with what we have seen, like with Ebena Boma and Joe Malange, suppose on the day of, of, of nomination, that president, his arrested. What happens? It means PF will not have a candidate because they cannot go to a convention you know, on a very short notice and elect a president who can go and contest as a Republican president. It is not possible. So they want to change that law as well. As well as other laws. I've just given you two which are critical. So at the moment there is a process of refining the constitution this is a process that is currently going on. And I think if, I, if, it, had not been, if it had not been due to uh, the cases that Mao Sampas brought, I think they should have been concluding on the constitution by now. I think by last week they should have been discussing the constitution. There is a draft that they have circulated, people have read, and they, all they are waiting now is to sit as, as, as neck and go through that. Then the process they can, can, can move forward. So that is a situation at the moment. They are looking at other processes, trying to sort out the, the constitution. Is it Edgar Lungu who has stopped them? Who has stopped the process? No. Edgar Lungu is not even involved. Edgar Lungu is not even involved. Edgar Lungu is pushing them. Edgar Lungu is telling them, can you finish with this process so that I can step aside? That is what Edgar Lungu is saying. That is what Edgar Lungu is saying. 
And this I'm telling you, even if you went to Ed Galungu, you ask him, Pamondela and the, it is public. And even if Ed Galungu, he will watch this. It is true, Ed Galungu has not held the PF. It is not true that Ed Galungu is pulling strings, is manipulating things. No. If, if anything, some of us were actually pushing Ed Galungu to do something, but still he's holding back. He's holding back. I'm telling you, he's holding back. I, for one, went to him. Kuma last year, I went to him. And one of the issues I brought out, I said, look, this PF is now, is going to break up. Look at how people are doing this and that and that. You are the president. Come in and stop all this nonsense. And he is still reluctant. He's saying, I mean, I want those people. What about those who, who are aspiring to be leaders? Why can't they sort out these, these issues? He said that. He used that word. This is where they are supposed to shine. As people who want to lead this party, this is where they are supposed to shine. And make sure that they sort out these differences. I shouldn't be stepping, stepping in each time there is a difference. Those who want to be leaders, this is the time for them to shine, to sort out those matters. That is the position of Ed Galungu. He is not, I'm telling you this before my God. But I'm telling you this with sincere heart. Ed Galungu is reluctant to meddle in PF affairs. He's very reluctant. So far, I don't know of anything. He has not even, not even, you know, like the other time there were by-elections. There were by-elections recently. You remember those by-elections that they were, which were all over the country. And the people wanted money and they wanted Ed Galungu to release money. People went to him and so on and back and forth, including myself. They sent me. Go and talk to him. Whatever, whatever. Ed Galungu said, I don't have money. I don't have money. And me, I've stepped aside. I've stepped aside. I don't have money. The only money that I'm receiving, therefore, I'm paying workers and I've got these workers and so on and so forth. I don't have money. And those, they will tell you, Ed Galungu is not meddling in PF affairs. Edgar Lungu meant it when he wrote those letters to say, I want to step aside. He meant it. He meant it. And he's still standing on that because from my point of view, I've not heard anything other than that position. That's his position. He stands, he, he stands, you know, resigned subject to handing over. He stands resigned subject to handing over. When, 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 when uh, uh, they will elect a leader, President Edgar Lungu will step aside. So, I hope you are hearing me very well. Number one is that Edgar Lungu, Edgar Lungu accepted the defeat. And he, he doesn't talk about it, no. So let's not be fair and fair to him to say, no, he's bitter, he, he still, he doesn't believe. No, he believes it. Number two, Edgar Lungu is president of PF. Until such a time when the uh, constitution will be what? Will be, uh, when, the, when, the, when the, the constitution will be changed and the new leader elected. Is Edgar Lungu meddling in this? Edgar Lungu is not meddling in this. Whoever is accusing Edgar Lungu of meddling, in PF affairs is a liar and is a big liar. Whoever is saying Edgar Lungu is trying to pull strings here and there is a liar, is a big liar. Edgar Lungu is not. Is not. He is not. Now, let me move to another issue. Some of you, some people have been saying, no, like I just played the song. 
And other people also play that song, Alewele Rapo. Is it Edgar Lungu sending us to play that song? Is Edgar Lungu giving money to anyone to say Ndefo Kuwele Rapo? I want to tell you again. Edgar Lungu is not sending anyone to say Ndefo Kuwele Rapo. Nothing. Nothing. If Edgar Lungu was sending anyone, anyone to say champion a campaign of me coming back, I don't think I would have been left out on that one. I don't think so. I don't think I would have been left out on that campaign. Why do I say that? I say this because some time back, I went to President Ed Galunga. I said, you know what? You can come back. You, you have got one million votes behind you. You have got the international community behind you. You have got the international community behind you. There are people, international community, that still feel that Edgar Lungu could do better. And yes, some of them, they have actually told him that they can help him. And myself, I went to him. And, I, and he said, no, I've done my part. I've done my part. It is up to you guys now to pick it up. It is up to you guys to pick it up. So if Edgar Lungu has changed his mind, he wants to come back, I don't think he would forget me. I think he, as one person that wanted that agenda, I think he would call me and tell me to say, you know, Dad, can you run this? And uh, I know President Edgar Lungu knows that I've got, a, I've got an influence on the public opinion. He knows that. So I'm sure you would have told me to say, let's run this agenda. And I would be here talking about something else, not what I'm talking about right now. Severally, I went to South Africa. I came back. I asked him. He still insisted, no. Me, I don't want. I've done my part. And up to today, unless otherwise I don't know who, but from, from, my, from my knowledge, I don't know anyone that Edgar Lungu has told to say, go and sing Alewele Rapo. Go and tell the people Alewele Rapo. Edgar Lungu hasn't done that. I don't think so. I don't, at, at least from my knowledge. And I think I should have known. Definitely I would have known because I went to him to say, why don't you come back? And he said, I've done my part. I've done my part. Now, here is the situation. In a, I'm playing a level it up. A queen, 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 queen cobra is playing a level it up. Other people a level it up. Other people are saying, no, we want Edgar Galungu to come back. I mean, can you blame that on Edgar Galungu? Can you surely blame that on Edgar Galungu? If other people are saying, our Twachula, we are suffering now, we would rather have Edgar Galungu come back. Are you going to blame it on Edgar Lungu? Are you going to blame it on Edgar Lungu? It is the people, other people who are now saying, Twachula, we are suffering now. We were better off during the time of Edgar Chagwalungu. We were better off. We would rather have him come back. When he went to Chilio Chakwa Tutua, people thumbed him. People thumbed President. President Edgar Chagwalungu, he couldn't even lift, <clears throat> he couldn't even lift his, 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 his fist or his hand up. He couldn't. He couldn't. People wanted to see him. Edgar Lungu was closing the windows. He closed the windows. When he was entering Kabwe, when he was going to the funeral, he closed the windows. People were shouting, Lungu, Lungu, Lungu. He didn't even wave at them. He didn't. He didn't. He went, he sat there. He didn't say a word. People wanted him to say something. We wanted him to say something, even at least in Muchechi. Edgar Lungu refused. Kuchirilo Kumanda, he refused. He refused. Why did he refuse? And I'm telling you, I'll tell you. Because I went to him, I said, Your Excellency, people are excited to see you. 
Why couldn't you even at least wave at, it, at them? At least. And he said, if I had done that, if I had done that, those people would have been excited more. Those people would have been excited more. And other people may have misinterpreted it. I appreciated the people's, you know, uh, support and coming to me and whatever. But I didn't want to respond to it. Because it would have been misinterpreted. And those people would have been excited. I don't want to excite anyone. Me, I have stepped aside. That is what Edgar Lungu told me. And this is true. Nangumawashan, this is true. He told me that. So really, if Edgar Lungu wanted to come back, he would have taken advantage of that, that crowd there. He would have taken advantage. He would have taken advantage of that crowd. There have been other instances again where Edgar Lungu has been seen in public and the people just found him. He would have, he would have taken advantage of that situation as well. But he has never taken advantage of that situation. Never. He hasn't. Never. Ed Galungu, he went there and he was getting excited. Never. You don't see him get excited. And, um, and I think instead of you people pointing at fingers at Ed Galungu, I think you should thank him. Because if it was, if it was a politician like myself, like Wakambuidi, like my GBM, with what is happening, I think you would have not survived. This country would, would not be the same. We should, we should thank President Edgar Lungu for his temperament, for his serene attitude. We should. Because really, if, you, if Edgar Lungu decided to say, no, let me also excite people. Let me excite people. I don't think the situation would be the same. I don't think the situation will be the same. That is not, the situation will just not be the same. Wherever he goes, people, you know, come around him. People mob him. They mob him. How, how can you now accuse him that no, how? How? What has he said which makes you say, what has he said? What has Edgar Lungu said which makes you say, Alefok Willap? Edgar Lungu has not said anything to excite the electorates or the public. He's very much conscious of that. The only thing that Edgar Lungu has said are lamentations. That's all. Edgar Lungu, the only thing he has said are complaints, lamentations. Lamentations for what? For losing power? No. Lamentations for the way he's being treated. That's all. That's all. He doesn't excite people, but he complains about the way he's being treated. He complains about the way he's being treated. The first time Ed Galungu spoke out, it was Pachiro Chawa Arabi. What did he say? Did he send the folk well He said, this is good, but let us see do things, you know, with, with, with uh, pure heart, para paraphrasing it. There is too much hypocrisy. On one side, you are showing love, but on the other side, you are biting your friend. And what was he talking about? He was complaining. Because when Edgar Lungu was there, when we were burying Arabi, his son, Dari Solungu, was being squeezed by the, by the, intelli by the uh, investigative wings. He only complains. The man only complains like Job. That's all. He, he, he never say anything which is political. No. He only complained of how he was being treated. He said it is, it is hypocritical. That's what he said. The other time that you saw Ed Galungu in the public, it was when he went in the supermarket to buy things. He went, he bought a few things, whatever. And of course, like any of us, when we go in a shop, we check how much is this? How much is this? How much is this? We do that. And pictures were taken. And that was a big issue. 
But did Edgar Lungu, did you hear Edgar Lungu? Ah, Wunga Wadula. Eh, uh-uh. But even if he did, is it a crime? Even if Edgar Lungu expressed himself to say, Wunga na Wadula, Shuka na Idula, if he said that, is it a crime? Is it a crime? The other time Edgar Lungu was in the public, it's when he, again, when he went to, to Dalisos. And we were conversing. He said, "Ali Balinta shet sungu. He shet sungu wala ndet metho mene fish wale mini." And I explained, it was not him. It is me. The other time, Mucheichi, it is because the PF, the UPND party, including my Imenda, when they saw Edgar Lungu going to church, they started complaining. And Edgar Lungu was just wondering to say, by the fact that I lost power, does it mean that I even lost God? That I can't even go to church? No, I have to go to church. And those who are not happy, let them be healed. Because that is, that is not right. Why do you complain? A person goes to church, you complain. Then there's something wrong with you. You need to be healed. That's basically what he said. He was reacting, lamentation, complaining. Why are you stopping me from going to church? I lost power. I didn't lose God. I also want to pray. That's basically what he was saying. How did that turn out Mukutumba? Because the reaction now which we got from the head of state at Kutumba. How, how was that Kutumba? How? A person is complaining to say, Mia, yes, I lost power. But I didn't lose God. I still love God. I'm still with God. And I'll be going to church. And those who are not happy about it, I mean, they need to check themselves. It is not my fault. That's basically what he said. How was that political that he should be told at Kutumpa by the head of state the following day? And the whole UPND, you know, machinery coming in. So my brothers and sisters, unless you know something which I don't know, but this is what I know. This is what I know. I know this for a fact that Edgar Lungu did hand over power. He handed over power and he went and he was humiliated. But he stood his ground to hand over power. After that, he wrote a letter to say, I've resigned. But subject to a leader being chosen. And at the moment, there is a process that is going on for a leader to be chosen. How is Ed Galungu coming in? How is Ed Galungu coming in? Ed Galungu, yes, he has got the right to move about, to go to church and so on and so forth. Why should other people talk about it? And he made a reaction out of that. And when he made a reaction out of that, people said, no, kutum. But even if you are just where has he done anything wrong here? People is, is it Edgar Lungu has sent us? People are just they, they, they wish they would have back Edgar Lungu because things are bad. People are talking about Edgar Lungu because the economy is bad. That's why they are talking about Edgar Lungu. If the UPND, the Mdalawa ATH, if he did it well, they would not be talking about Edgar Lungu. They talk about Edgar Lungu now because of the way things are. But is it Edgar Lungu telling people in the combo, telling people to say, come back, come back. Eh? I want to come back. I want to come back. Or what do you want Edgar Lungu to do? You want Edgar Lungu to hold a press conference and start telling us, no, uh, I don't want you to, don't play. Do you want Edgar Lungu to do that? Eh? What do you want him to do? What do you want Edgar Lungu to do? Edgar Lungu, you know, he is not going to do anything. So, Edgar Lungu, you know, he is going to do something. Edgar Lungu, you know, he is going to do something. Edgar Lungu, you know, he is going to do something.
So if God want Edgar Lungu to come back, no one can stop it. By HH, you can't stop it. No one can stop it. Not even Edgar Lungu himself can stop it. If that is God's desire, he would come back. Tapali winga figlesha. It can't happen. It can never happen. If indeed God wants him to come back, he would come back. So, if you feel like you know you are trying to find faults, give him faults. Hey, no, he what is doing? Hey, he wants to come back. Where have you where have you heard Hakai Edgar Lungu saying, I want to come back? Where? In at least a person that really goes there, sit with him, chat with him, he has never told me. And he knows how much I love him. He knows how much I'm supporting him. He knows that I, I, am, I, I am so, I don't want to say I'm ready to die for him. But, but that's how much I feel for him, to defend him. And you know, I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one who feels so strong on Ed Galungu. Who feels so strong? I'm not the only one. This is what you must know. Imoba UPND. You must know this. You must know this. Ed Galungu has followers. And some of those followers, some of them are willing to die for him. Some of them are willing to die for Ed Galungu. Don't, don't take this for granted. Don't take my word for granted. So even as you are messing around with him, you should know he has got supporters that would be ready to put their lives in front of, in front of, of, of his. And I'm not the only one. Apostle, you have, you have summoned uh, his son and the wife. You have summoned him. I want to tell you, me, I'll be there. I will escort him. I will escort him each time Edgar Lungu is called. If Edgar Lungu is going to come, he's going to escort his son. I will, I will go with him. I will go with him. And you won't stop us. The same way we did when last time when he, you, you, you invited the first lady and some of us followed. I knew you wanted to arrest me on that day, but I still went. Even this time around, I'm telling you, you have, you have, you have called his son, if Edgar Lungu is coming, me, I'm going to follow. I'm going to be part of Edgar Lungu. I'm going to follow. And I'm sure there are other people who feel so strongly about this. And this is the danger that I'm talking about to say that victimizing Edgar Chagwalungu, you are risking the peace of this country. You are risking the peace of this country. Victimizing Edgar Chagwalungu you are risking you are risking the peace of this country that person has got 1 million in votes behind him 1 million people even 100,000 behind him there are too many even 100,000 there are too many if out of those 1 million 
just 100,000 decided to be behind Epiga Chagwalungu, that will be a big issue. If in them ever take over Tunisia Nation, I'm, 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 I'm doing anything to you. I am telling you facts. Ngamurivama no, mufwe. If you are sensible leaders, if you are reasonable leaders, I am telling you, stop harassing that man. One day mukaluleta, one day mukaluleta. If me, as simple children now, there are people who are saying, no, next time they will arrest you, we will come. Next time they will arrest you, we will come. If me, the simple children if me, I've got followers, eh? if me, I've got followers all over, you hear them, they call here, they say, no, no, we are with you, we are with you. Don't take people for granted that not a part of Uh-uh. You just never know. You just never know when people will say enough is enough. You just never know. You just never know. That man Mule Sonsomba, that man Mule Sonsomba, he, he, he led an economy better than the economy that you are leading right now. That man you are victimizing, he kept people better than the way you are keeping us today. That man. That man you are messing around with. That man you are messing around with. With his 1.8 million CDF, youths were empowered. They, youths were empowered. We had those trucks, tanker trucks. We had Black Mountain. We had FISIP, not this FISIP Mulepela Pamunitu Meda. In his leadership, in his leadership, people got four bags of fertilizer. People are getting to Meda. And you have the audacity to start messing around with this man who gave four bags. You said you come and give eight bags. Where is that eight bags? When that man, when that man was president of this country, Ubunga was 130 kwacha. Today, Ubunga would be 200 kwacha. And, and you have got the courage to start messing around with him. People are hungry. There is no money in the economy. There is no money in the economy. You were talking about inflation. No, inflation was high. But people had money. They could afford to buy. They could afford to buy. Today, people are hungry. Today, people... For you hear when they start calling here. You hear how frustrated they are. And just because he has gone to church to pray... You have continued now. You start sending call outs to him. Mukaluleta. Ted Galungu Kaluleta. Uh -uh. It's not Ed Galungu who is going to bring confusion in this country. It is you by UPND. It is you by UPND. There are no cases on Ed Galungu. There are no cases. Because if there were cases, one year, six months, you would have found them. You have got everything. You have got an instrument of power. You have got the intelligence. You have got everything at your disposal. One year, six months. You have failed to bring one case against Ed Gachagolungu. But you keep targeting his children, tormenting him through his family members. And he has a right to escort them. He has a right. He's the father. And like last time, he was telling me, Daddy, so he's the one that is like a, a family businessman. He's the family administrator. There's too much businesses, whatever small businesses that I've been doing. Daddy, so he's the one that has been, that has been uh, running those businesses. He, he's not shy even to talk about the loans that he has, that he has borrowed. He's servicing loans right now. He's not shy to talk about that. So if you mulechita following Edgar Lungu, Edgar Lungu, who at least 
gave a better life to Zambians. Even the teachers that you have employed, it's Edgar Rungu built your schools. Even the, 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 the health workers that you boast about, it's Edgar Lungu who built the schools. The, the, the road network that you are enjoying, you are moving around this country. You enjoy the comfort of the roads. It is Edgar Lungu that borrowed money to build those, those roads from the Chinese. And today you are insulting to say, Wali Kongo la Kalawa, Wali Kongo la Kalawa. Mwala wati, Dionse muna pita pa, pa fly over bridge ya pa, ukukwe ya poti muya. Chila mushiku nikwe ya poti, chila mushiku nikwe ya poti. You pass through the roads that Edgar Lungu did. When we tell you that these are roads which were built by Edgar Lungu, you say he didn't use his money. But he mwe commissioning things that you didn't even start. You want to take the credit. What kind of people are you? What kind of people are you? You have no shame. You have no shame. Tamwa kwa tensoni. Where did you see projects being commissioned twice? Those, those, those projects you are commissioning, Ed Garungu commissioned them already. They started a long time. Imwa mwishiramu kuchita commission. Nimwa wa muenda mwali mwa. You are ripping out of what Ed Garungu did. That's where you are ripping from. But you have the guts to insult that man who called Ali Tumba. You have the guts to victimize him using the investigative wings. For how long do you think people were going to tolerate this nonsense of yours? For how long do you think people are going to let you torment that man who gave most of the people, a lot of people, including myself, I never got money directly from Ed Galungu. But through the opportunities that he created, I am living in this house. This house I live in, it is as a result of Ed Galungu. The life that I have today, the life that I have today is as is that of Ed Galungu. I didn't get any business contract from government, no. But those who are getting business contracts, I worked through them. I was busy writing them tender, tender documents. I was busy writing them, you know, proposals. Empowerment was there. Young people are coming to my office. Very so, office command. I was writing them, opening them companies, opening them, writing them uh, uh, business proposals, cash projections. I was helping them, and I was getting paid. That's how I even managed to go and marry with Ethiopia. I managed to go and marry with Ethiopia. The party one payroll pia. Mahala has has gone niche. Let me check. Kutiba kutiba kuingi na wamba. On the yeah, yeah, just check for me and uh, and and, and then, then yeah, just check check it. Oh, Eliza, did? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Just first switch it, switch it off and then remove it. Then then let me know. Okay, okay then fine. So anyway, sorry for that. Yeah, so I'm telling you, 
that this what you are doing you are you are inviting problems for yourself i want to tell you for sure that when you have a friend like president edgar chagwalung when you have a friend like president edgar chagwalung who has got powers who has got powers one million votes in one million votes and this time around you hear people here say no I regret having voted for Aka in the So the one million vote of President Edgar Chagwalungu has actually increased. A person like that is not a person that you, you want to take on in a small country and small economy like ours. Because, I mean, you might cause a, a confusion that you can never resolve. You see, it is better to maintain it is easier you know to maintain peace than to bring peace when it is gone never move wiki sasa na waka in the chile na imo wese wa upnd mwila mona kwati because you have you have you are ruling you are a ruling party you have got waka pokola and finish na finish i want to tell you the system of government can run if there is obedience from the people if there is compliance from the people if people don't comply if people don't comply you can't run a government you can't be a president when people don't comply remember people are more than those in government they are more so please twani papa tabaka inde ichirema kwateni wisdom Quaten wisdom ngafila balanda tukusungemwa mano Quaten wisdom because if you are not careful with the way you are handling things why you think that you are mighty you are all powerful you can do anything one day one day you will regret it especially that people are already frustrated belami be people are cheating you eh those that you sit and eat with, they lie to you that people are okay. People are not okay. Now, lai sulama fonya pa. You will hear how people they will be expressing themselves. Those who have been following this program can attest to the fact that people are frustrated. And when people are frustrated, they may want where to take it out. And Edgar Lungu, the victimization of Edgar Lungu might just be that excuse so in enami papa tawa ba 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 aka in the that man that man keep him well in genji i can assure you nga nga bufi ndeme ba mailo mukan to me phone ba ba aka in the chile mukan to me phone to say i want to reconcile i want to talk with edgar lungu i'm telling you nka alala pa mwishpali ba edgar lungu that is the best way i mean of course you might not even you might not need to use me you can use so many other people church leaders you can call church leaders you are the president if there are people who are advising you that it is edgar lungu who should start those are bad advisors good advisors will tell you that you are the president if you want to meet Ed Galungu, you can say, until I meet you, Ed Galungu. If you want, you can say, until we meet, whether it is 03 or whatever, I want to meet you. Who is Ed Galungu? Who is Ed Galungu? And he's a humble man. You would meet and you would engage. This acrimony that is there is propagated by you. Because Edgar Lungu now is, is just a citizen. He's a former president. But he's just a citizen. You can initiate a conversation such that we avoid this kind of talk. I know as I'm talking here, you, you are not comfortable. You are not comfortable. I know you, are, you, you even want to, to accuse me of trying to incense people. But no, it's you who is incensing people. You know how you are incensing people? You are victimizing that man. That man who is loved by many. On Thursday, you have called his son. 
And like he has said that his son is the one that manages family business. I know he would want to come. And as he is coming, many others will come. I will come. And then he will come up now. No, 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 no. Hey, bring the police. When the clash will start one day, when the clash will start one day, you will not be able to stop it. You will not be able to stop it. Don't think that, no, it is just in Lusaka. It is just in Skanze. No. You never know. You never know. You never know. So, you need to make sure that, please, stop this victimization on President Edgar Chagwalumu. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That man, give him respect. People will love you. We will love you. We will be happy with you. Not what you are doing. And remember, people usually support the underdog. People usually support the underdog. Yes, Edgar Lungu might have put you in prison, whatever, whatever, whatever. But now you are the president. Now you are the big guy. People will not, will not sympathize with you. They will sympathize with the underdog, who is Edgar Chagwalungu. That's the one they will sympathize with. And that that is how he may even come back. Because in people, the people who now just sing, our oh, wake up, wake up, wake up. It is not Edgar Lungu who will say, Devok wake up. It will be the people that will say, ah ah, tia wake up. Baka mi fumi apo, baka mi wake up, no kum wake up. Muranda tu mwali karapo gali. Mwali karapo gali. Vantua mi wake up. It is people that put you there. And if people are, get upset with you, they can fire you. You should know this Vahaka in the Ichilema. People can fire you. They can remove you. They can remove, it's people that put you there. They can also remove you and put you wherever they want. If they want, they can put that very Edgar Wung. Na ngutare fire, kumu vika, pa hiwa wine tie, ikara. Kutimamu vika. Na ngufen newe neti vam vika. Mwadabwa, ya o trefo a tari, trefo a tari, ya, ah, eh, tari, eh, tari, eh, tari, kwa, ya ingra state house. Vantu, it's the people. People have the power. Mwilala wawa mdala, you don't have power. Yes, you can send waka pokola, but waka pokola wawa wawa How many police officers are there? You think they can control the, the, whole, the whole populace? Eh? Wawa wawa and on top of that, even they are frustrated. Even those police officers, they are frustrated. Yeah? People are frustrated. This frustration which is in this country, it is not only, you know, to a few people. Everyone is frustrated. Those whom we are eating with, those are the ones who are not frustrated. But people who are just working hard, trying to survive, they are frustrated. A lot of people, Panondera and Sotavali Piramanda, we can amanda Aksunkira. They haven't paid houses. They live in houses, rented houses. They are not paying. A lot of them. A lot of them, as I'm talking, they haven't eaten. As I'm talking, they haven't eaten. A lot of them. Tomorrow is Monday. A lot of our young people, they don't have anything to do. That's why they have become junks. I'm a junks now, full and full. Why? Because they have nothing to do in this government of yours. People who are our less shame your talker, those who are selling vehicles, they are not selling. I went to town, town, eh? Those who used to supply you to my and to my room of paper, what, what? They are not. The economy is so bad. Things are so bad. Watch our channel, Watch our channel, How is that helping us? How is that helping us? Don't you think people are tired to hear, of hearing of this nonsense of, hey, someone, hey, Deki, hey, 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 hey anti-corruption commission, hey, arrest. Don't you think people are tired? We have to arrest you in the You think people who eat your arrest? Edgar, if you want, you can arrest his son. Who is going to benefit out of that? How will people benefit out of it? Eh? Even me, tomorrow you have called me. I must go to court. I'm court. Who is going to get to it to, to benefit anything out of it? Eh? Including the match. Oh. <laughs> because, I mean, a lot of people are frustrated. 
A lot of people are frustrated. So, you know, me papa da. Now, me papa da. What I'm doing here, I'm pleading with you that you are playing with fire. You are a leader. Yes, you are in government. You think you have got powers, but I'm, I can tell you that what you are doing is not helping the country. What you are doing is not building the country. And one day it may backfire. We all want peace. Me, I want peace. I want peace. I want peace. I sure I want peace. But what you are doing, you will make the words of Bakaunda come to pass. Bakaunda said, Haka in the I'm scared of Haka in the I can divide the nation. But if you continue on this, those words will come to pass. The onus is on you, Baka in the to do the right thing, to stop this, to engage that man, to bring him close. Not the hypocrisy. Not the hypocrisy of saying beautiful things. I saw what a man was wrote. You are good at that. And I hope a man has not fallen for that. Because you are good at talking, go, saying good things. But what you do is something else behind. That is not right. Be, be a transparent person. Be a coherent man. What you say is what you mean. Not you say something else, but you do something else behind. It's very bad. It's very bad. So if you, Edgar, just to, to tie it up before I open the phone calls, to tie it up, Edgar Lungu has conceded the defeat in spite of so many people that he queried that and even himself having doubts, he was gracious to accept it. Number two, yes, he wrote a letter to say, I want to step aside. And that's what he wants. And he has said it to many of us. I am a witness to that. But it is subject to a PF leader being elected. PF leader being elected. Edgar Lungu has got rights to go to church and express himself. And so far, Edgar Lungu has not said anything. Those of you who say, no, what has he said? He only laments. He only complains of how he's being treated. That's all. And he goes to church. He seeks solace in God. That's all. And you say, Kutumba. No, I don't think you are being fair. Number four. These victimizations that you are doing on Edgar Lungu, one day might backfire on you because that man has got people behind. I am one of those people and I'm very passionate about Edgar Lungu and I'm sure there are so many other people that are passionate. And don't doubt that for a moment, especially, the, the fact, especially for the fact that you are, the, the economy is so bad compared to when he was there. So yes, you can doubt me, but think of it. How do you think people are feeling? That you, who said that, no, you are going to do better. You are doing worse than him. You are doing worse than him. Surely, don't you think that there are many people that would want to stand with this man? And especially at this point in time, you are the president. He's just a former president. He's a citizen. Who do you think people are going to side with? Are they going to side with a president who has increased the fuel? A president who has increased milli meal prices? A president who has not given them jobs? A president who has taken away a, a, a empowerment of the youth and the women? You think they will side with you? A president who has increased the milli meal prices? A president who gave people a fertilizer pack of Ameda? You think a president who, who cheated civil servants that when I come back, I will re-employ you. So many civil servants, you promise them that you will take them back. You haven't done so. You are failing in many things. In many things. And you want to continue messing around with this man. You will not do anything if the peace of this country is destabilized. You will not do anything. So the best that you can do at this point in time, is to seek, you know, a, a relationship that is workable between yourself and President Edgar Chagwalungu. And certainly not victimizing him, not every day sending call-outs, victimizing his children. 
It's not going to work. You are going to cause problems for, for, for this country. Those of you, phone lines I'm going to open now. You can also express yourself. You can say what you want. Um, the number that you are calling is... Uh, listen to the number that you are calling on WhatsApp only. On WhatsApp only. The number that you are calling is 0763 That is the number that you are calling on. I will repeat that number. The number that you are calling on WhatsApp only. Not ordinary calls. WhatsApp only. 0763302207 on WhatsApp only 0763302207 we have our first caller oh let me let me put the the just on a bit I'm putting the I'm putting it loud so that people can hear you. Yes, hello. Hello. Hello, President. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, President. Never Go ahead, Mamling. Because <laughs> Thank you. I'm picking calls as they come. I'm picking the next call there. Hello? 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 Good evening. Good evening. Hello? Yeah, line you. I don't think I will know some. Hello? Line I don't think I will know. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, um, I'm calling you from Livingston. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm following your program. Actually, uh, the way you are talking, you are you're okay. Mm -hmm. Things are indeed are not well. But uh, how I wish it, it, the vocal that you have if we are um, seeing the way things are, look at uh, the prices of Mirimiu, uh, fuel, mm. and the like. Mm. Now, um, what if instead of uh, maybe, let me not say uh, pointing names or what, what if we, if we provide the solutions on how we can reduce those things or... Uh, in a way that we can advise those people who are capable of doing that. Because um, there are small children or there are small people who are listening to the way we are speaking. Some people take it to say, uh, uh, this person is useless and the like. There are things that we, we were seeing in the previous regime. You can... Uh, you can even testify yourself to say there are things which were happening, which were bad, of which we saw them happening. Now, we are supposed to tell those people not to continue the same mistakes they were doing, of which you are doing that thing. Mm -hmm. Now, the way you are doing it, sir, mm -hmm. uh, it's like you are just concentrating on the negative part, you see? 
I agree with you to say fuel is very expensive. Mirimi is very expensive. And there are a lot of things which are happening. Some council workers right now, as we are talking, mm -hmm. they have got areas which were left by what? The previous government. But if you are to talk about those things, so that those brothers, sisters and brothers, maybe they can be helped, you see? Otherwise, the way you are talking, you are helping those people who cannot uh, speak for themselves. Now, my point, the point that I'm making now is uh, uh, if we can provide ways of controlling those uh, situations, things are not okay. Yeah, things are not okay, but let's find ways of controlling those issues in a polite way so that someone who is in grade 10, grade 9, cannot see to say this person is always condemned. I'm not a politician, I'm just a neutral person. I do not support anyone. But when things are bad, we have to say, to, uh -uh, no, here things are not okay. Thank Actually, you, my brother. what you are doing is okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Hello? 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 Yes, sir. How are you? Fine, fine. Thank you. Good. Okay. Did you have it? Yes, sir. So, I don't know if you could, uh, you could tell you like that. Can, can you talk to my sir? So, hello? Can you talk to my sir? Okay. Yeah, like you should, you should disturb the uh, uh, TA, like they should unite. I can't hear you properly. What 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 do you mean? We want. Yeah, if you, if you can manage to talk to Mao Samba. Oh, if I can manage to, you, if I can talk to Mao Samba. Yes, that they unite. Don't they should they should support their doing. Just so fight tell it, tell fight him what you want to say. Mao Samba is listening right now. Tell him what you want to. What you want yeah. to say? Tell yeah. Mao Samba, he's listening. He's here, Mao Samba. I've seen him, he's PF. listening. We want the PF to unite so that we can kick out this government. Hello? Hello? Yes, well, I'm saying we want, we want the PF to unite mm -hmm. so that we, yeah, so that we can kick out this, this uh, government. Okay. If now if now some percent like the guys in the party and things won't be okay. So what we want is unity. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thanks so much. It's a good program. Hello? Hello? Hello, Mahombe my dad. Hey, I'm going to be. Hey, I'm going. You can go ahead. Nah, and that's the point of correction. You know what people are very party along with our HH. You know, when I saw Mono was and for my support, that Narandi, if you want to do whatever support of our HH, I take good Maka women and do our patient at three zone. I think it's in Chavacum to Masana and my supporters. Well, no better for us to understand my supporters by then it was nothing. He was just in opposition, just like he, you. Mm. He was not the former, he was not neither nor the president. Mm. So, I would like to compare the former. Whether we like it or not, he's a former. Now, he will be the former. The treatment that he get during that time he was in opposition, not for treatment. People should understand that. Thank you. Mr. 
Hey, this is this movie watching you, Mr. President. Mm. Hey, I'm not going to Thank you. Please go ahead with your contribution. Yes, I would like to say um, I've been following your program so far. Yes. And uh, from the look of things, you have been talking on behalf of the people of Zambia. But um, as leaders, let us at least support our friends by providing solutions. Mr. President, are you getting me? Mm -hmm. Yes, we respect the fact that you are speaking on behalf of us as Zambians, but at least let us provide uh, solutions for our friends so that our country might be in good condition as well. We shouldn't always just condemn the president on what he is doing, but we should look on the bright side of the things he's doing as well. Why don't you? Why don't? Why don't? Our... Why don't you start by giving those um those advice? No, as the person who is talking, mm. you are the one who is on the internet. Uh, no, you are also talking. So give us, uh, give us some of your <laughs> positive <laughs> ideas, Kairi. So that two fueko, to some big echo. Twelve. Ah, we more of better my ideas, more of a president. For you to have this conversation with the internet, people all over the country and the world at large, you must have some solutions. So that us as people so don't you don't you don't you think that like, uh, out of like today you have been hearing what i've been talking about isn't it we, yes i've heard and everything. don't you think and, that uh, we, we are glad and don't you think that uh, I, i'm i'm giving solutions in in my discourse like today yes, i'm talking about doing, the relationship but, uh, i'm talking about the relationship of mm -hmm. between haka and the former president and I'm basically saying, yes. stop this victimization so that we can unite. Don't yes. you think that is a solution? That one is a very good solution. But in most of your um, videos, I've followed them and I've seen where you are always condemning the president. Give me, I'm not give me, uh, siding give me, with him because give me, he is sorry. wrong on the prices of millimil and yes. the price of fuel. They are yes. very high. Yes. So yes, what is your solution to that? Uh, what is your solution to that? Me, me as a citizen, I should seek solution from you as leaders of the country because you will be a president once as well. So we should seek solutions from you. Okay, thank you. I get you. Hello? 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 Yes, please. Hello? 
Yes, please go ahead. Yes, Mr. President. Hello, yes, Mr. President. How yeah. are you? Fine, fine. We can hear you. Please go ahead. Okay, yeah. What I want to say is uh my friend said but I bomb back I go about it. But we had already he went, he is done his part. Uh, and the reason why I want to buy me name water. They are, they are seeing something wrong with the president. So, it's for him to wait. He needs to wait. So, not to call a big smile. If anything, he can also get some ideas from the man because he's, a, he's now the father of the nation at the moment. He's the only surviving president. So, I think he should just, they should just unite and just work together so that for the betterment of this country. I think he put up here a copy. Not to tell her. Hello? Hello? Hello, Chonglom Kwaiwa, President Kayali. Good, I'm Kwai. Mwabom Bashan. We know when I'm from Kwai. Now, what's the contribution, Kwai? I'm Kwai. We can say that on your, on your first point, mm. that maybe it's a fear of unknown by the by our Republican president. But it's not. He knows what he's fearing. He's not, he knows what he's scared of. Okay, he knows that he has messed up the economy of the country. He has messed up everything. And he knows that people are now crying for ECO to come back because things were better when ECO was the president of this country. And he knows that he can't beat the record of ECL. So that's what he's scared of. That's why I tell you every time you see him saying, Ake kada pesa, ake kada pesa. Even if ECL has not spoken to say, I want to come back into active politics. So why is it not going to be able to do that? One, it was the beat record of ECL. And if you want to do that, you can do that. If you want to do that, you can do that. You can do that. You can do that. You can invest into any sector. You can invest into health. And they know that they can't beat that record. And he knows that people are now crying for it. So we are now comparing to say who is better now between the two. And we have seen who is better. If you forward it in. Explain that they forward it in. They can't beat ECO's record. And people are now crying for ECO because they are better in ECO than we are in YHH. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Hello? 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 Yes, please. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, this is Shafwepa. Yes, please. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Um, I just also wanted to add my voice. Mm. Uh, to begin with, with uh, what he is currently prevailing with our president. Mm. Indeed, the president has really proven that he is the biggest mistake of the century. Because, I mean, he can't, you know, the country can't afford to have such a vindictive president who has totally closed his ears, he has closed his eyes, he listens to nobody. People are crying. Uh, prices of commodities are shooting every day and he doesn't just choose to listen. Now, really, things are going to backfire on his face very, very badly. And uh, it won't be good because, you know, we are a nation, not a company. We wouldn't want anything, you know, going wrong. We want the best. Now, with the way things are going, with the way he is going, it's really not good. I, we hope he knows what he's doing. And also to come on the issue of uh, the PF, uh, Mao Zisampa, I believe you are watching Lamdala. Please, let us social, show some maturity and also some appreciation 
because looking at your record, big man, ah, it's nothing to write home about. Thank you, you thank see? you, Vashafwepa. Because thank you, Vashafwepa. Let me pick okay, another one. Okay. Thank you. Hello, 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 hello. I'm calling you from Daspa. Oh, yeah, Monica, from Finland. Finland, okay. Um, um, first of all, congratulations. I've seen our viewers. I'm to see Kana to be. I'm to point eight. Why in the video? I'm sure that's why I'm going to be very worried. I'm going to pass in our comment. Them advice now. Regarding your advice, eh? it's a good thing. If the people that we want to give advice to are willing to listen, mm -hmm. but I want to know about compass, what is proud. I want to be a leader, but a leader, you want to be vindictive. What can you do? Nothing. You see? Nothing. But so far, what you have been doing, Bakateka, is a good thing because you have given a platform. Ah, views are shared. <laughs> And I want to play Irani Rafael Nukunga and Fatulepo. And that is why now we are praising singer, Bambo Kumfahit. But we want to thank you, we are praising singer, because now you are agreeing with us that things are bad. That is good. Welcome to the reality now. Now, what we need to do is to help. They did it there, for sure. They did it there, for sure. Let him give respect to the former president. You know, he cannot keep on talking about Let him do what he promised. If he can't, let him leave. Thank the you. same way he's treating Edgar. You know, thank you so much, Wakateka. Thank you. Hello? 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 Yes, sir. What are you doing? I'm going to go to the house. 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 Ate mwa shikuru wadia. Efyo chidi, chizi so. Inecho ndefe, ndefu okuyilisha nyako, kuli waka. Teka wesu wako tuwa chelele, ukui maziro fo. Uya mkubika kwete. Ya hili ya hili ya hili ya shikuru wadia pano. Icho nde, cha kuambia po cha kwa watu. Ushe, uyu, uyu na mayo, uyu, uyu mayo, uyu. Burenda tamba tamba. Ne kwe soko mwa mwa kwa wachiru vya tayari. Uko nebo pano nga shibushikuru wadia. Uko ninga ya mkwe kushe ya isi ya kuri ya kia wana wangi. Pari wane bo kuti. Wane wane bo ushe. Isi ya kuri ya shina la kela wana. Ito na alo shia mkwe kusupa wila wachiru vya. Wachiru vya driver. Ba wala yuko yuwa chituka mitere ndela mwengu tuwa ya ikusha kuyuwa nemba wesu mwala uwi kusalafika. No mba inaye wongi atala mwona po. Uko winga ya ikusha fia kuja fia wana uwe. Uli vambia wantu wane bebo uyo ikusha eko. Niku hizo kwa mwachi mwona po jambu sango. So. Mwona. 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 Vale ele to boa fia, vale vale a puiro o muniro para macaça. Ah oi, na pera coba me vem na tua. Ninguém pode ter fim de fia colando o nome, na pera colando a minha avó nesse balanço. Ok, na tua tela. Hello. 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 Ah, good evening, comrade. Good evening, my brother. You are you are a regular caller, and you manage. How do you manage others? They say they fail to manage. <laughs> Maybe I also yeah, pay you. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I also pay you. <laughs> Maybe I pay you to come and call. <laughs> hey, because people are saying that he pays no. people to come on the program. Um, 
many be they have evidence because what we know is that um, a person who understood the huge damage that the PF uh, uh, did to this country cannot just turn around today if he really supported the current government and say the current government have failed when he knows that he, he knows the, the damage that the PF uh, made to this country. Uh, comrade, let me allow me to comment what, on what you have said today about uh, ECL. Um, ECL. Mm -hmm. I think I want to put it clear that uh, Mr. Tayari, uh, if anything, you need to help uh, our former president to be free, uh, more especially when it comes to issues of uh, allegations, Monga Bama corruption, family, Nabina, Nabina. When these people who are close to uh, the former president are uh, summoned, let, you, let, you, let us allow those people to appear in uh, Kulima uh, law enforcement judges so that they can clear themselves. At the end of the day, uh, the former president will have a free uh, uh, none. But if we come to Goro, we have to go to Goro, we have to go Hey, you are victimizing them, uh, you are harassing them, you are doing what, all, all bad things, then you are not helping the, first, uh, the former first, first family. I think uh, I just want to put this here uh, across. Thank you very Let much, my allow brother. allow those who are... You are welcome, comrade. Thank you. Hello? 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 Yes, yes. Good evening, Mr. Kayam, sir. Good evening, sir. This is Mr. Simuchimba from um, Kablonga within Lusaka. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Um, for me, I just want to make a contribution based on um, the current interference which are going on. Mm. I, 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 hello? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Yes, please. So uh, what Mr. H.H. or the president should have done is just to go and reconcile with the former president. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, uh, the, the, that's the only thing that can be done. Over what he's doing, it is wrong for doing whatsoever he's doing. Otherwise, it's, it's not good. At all. We are not happy. We are not happy. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I like your brief, how brief you are. Hello? Hello? Yes, please. Yes, please, Mr. Tyler. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, yes, sir. This is Hussein Koli. Okay, yes, please go ahead, sir. I wanted to comment, uh, I wanted to comment on uh, this previous caller mm. who was saying that you should help Nadva uh, Kalungu uh, to allow the investigative wins. Why did HH allow the what the investigative wings on what on the what the finance minister and infrastructure minister? Why did he allow it? Mm -hmm. Why 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 are they saying that no HH should not uh, this H Galungu should allow? Mm -hmm. Why are they not doing it themselves? Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. that, that's what Mr. Sad. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for being brief, my brother Hussein. Hello? Okay. Uh, President Java, why you move for Fiance? Was the commission is in Tofu Tava Tava Bombeja Bomberumun and wasted of Woku which appreciate Tumun and Kofa Bomba, then a white cafe which the condemn. Why to be a period of Yavaka Tata? I wrote a local cruiser resume that to offer an over for a book like Sako Kunopan to add to Adivache take a son to Adiba Chudi in a more position for twenty years. She was over at Turaya. <laughs> Thank you. Hello? 
हेलो 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 मिस्टर प्रिंस देव गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग हाय सर फाइन फाइन थैंक यू सर ओके आई एम बेन आई एम कॉलिंग यू फ्रॉम किटवे ओके यस आई वांट टू लेट यू शुड जस्ट से इज फॉर प्रेसिडेंट वे फॉर आवर क्वेट वाय एचएचए Mm. You know, there is a saying which says two wrongs cannot create the right thing. Mm. But President West, we are not helping the country by victimizing Umna Wawa from a positive state. Quite right, he understood the fact that Ali Rosa, I cannot quit a woman, which is okay. But the whole the whole game is in his hand now. And then coming out from there, a President West worried that he is coming to fix the economy, but the economy is bleeding in all parts of the country. Mm. The economy is bleeding, but where is the fixing that he was pre- he was talking about to say is coming to fix me, sir? The party, we look up a bit as I'm speaking right now. That we are going to have a film. But to be that you are going to see the vampire of Black Mountain, Black Mountain. Ah, if I you feel the card, but it's time you talk about my cakes. I have black. No card, no no one has benefited from Musakiri. If I told Prebe, but you are pushy about Kabusu, why did they take that away? All the way from Chira, we are away. Our Isari in Dalam, we are black mountain. That's why they are going to go to move away. They are going to But when the time comes, we are going to be able to run to run to. I know if we could go to Sakiri, we believe in it. We are going to be able to go to the other side. We are going to be able to go to the other side. We are going to be able to go to the other side. We are going to be able to go to the Nombana kuma crimes yene yaka chepa shani if a top people are still being tightened up by UPND Valeria aba PF bale ba twale ba mwena bale twale bale wa PF so 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 ba PF bale file ke refi black mountain twale ile yako ife ta twale yako so we kufya shi chalo ta shitalanga musunga ba ichemeza nawo atotela hello hello Yes, President Stary. How are you? Fine, fine. Thank you, sir. Sure. I'm um, Paul calling from Chitata. I also want to contribute on your show. Thank you, sir. Sure. Yeah. So for me, it's just uh, to commend you for the uh, great initiative of coming up with uh, this show, which is uh, helping a lot of us and uh, speaking for us, for the majority of us. Yeah. And uh, over the issue of uh, failure by the current uh, president really for me have uh, no kindness uh, for the man of course we hold him in high esteem I mean we we respect him so much but he has failed a lot of us fuel is keeps on increasing the in Chipata. I went around the shops just trying to find the minimum there is nothing shop right shop is like the entire shops you can't find a bag of milk milk so where are we going now so all his promises is never fulfilled not even one so that's the present that we have in this country and over the pf issue we are most and power take and yet we are most and power each sana and uh, he still uh, he still has a lot i mean a lot to learn so that child business we don't need it we need the uh, pf to reorganize and hopefully bounce back in come 2026 and we are rooting for president mundubire thank you so much sir good night thank you hello 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 yes please mawo mbere mkwae eh mkwae ndi live eh mkwae muri live mkwae na totera sana mkwae Ichi akubalira pofi ya ndefu ya huko uh, mitote la pali hii initiative ya huyu mla basa mwapanga. Okay. Then to I want to also to comment. Government has been denying the fact that they are not supporting LGBTQ. Mm-hmm. However, right now we are being told that there is a position that has been created a position of technical director at the state house in charge of key and vulnerable population key, key and vulnerable population in the definition of uh, by the definition of people and the us aid means people 
uh, LGBTQ people. So why are government been refusing? Number two, government is about to host the democracy summit, mm -hmm. which they want to use for the promotion of democracy and uh, human rights. Mm -hmm. This summit was started by the US president. And so far we have four country, uh, member states, that is Costa Rica, Netherlands, uh, South Korea, Ghana, and now our country. Mm. The purpose for this summit, when it comes to the promotion of human rights, the purpose is LGBTQ. Mm. And uh, if you read the executive order mm. by the US president, which was issued in uh, uh, August 2022, it cleared states that any country that has to benefit foreign aid from US has to agree to their terms, which is LGBTQ. Mm. So this government should clearly state its position mm. regarding its friendship with the uh, US mm -hmm. and also uh, its position on LGBTQ. Let them just come up with a law like, uh, like Uganda's done. Uganda's come up with a very tough law. And if the government here is not in support of LGBTQ, why are they not taking the stance of uh, Uganda to come up with the same uh, uh, tough law? Mm -hmm. now, the other thing is, the other thing is, why is government not being alive to the fact that the Zambian people are hungry? The Zambian people are barely uh, surviving. Government should come to terms and remember the promises that it made to the Zambian people. In a Kuno Kondini Kukopa Belt, Nariva Tungi, the Roku Vasala, Narina, a word branch chairperson, Wabo. In the Kaishi, they were fine, but because if in Fion Sefer to Alela, I want to campaign the Parinangu Chimo, each are each level on Beck. CDF Chimona breakfast, Pangan. Ushinga Nam Quarter Bread, Makota Nama Bans, which Mareko Kura Kurash to Wunga to Alicota, a bread na Nama Bans. Thank you very much. Hello? 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 Yes, please. Hello, Mr. President. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello, yes, we can hear you. Please go ahead. Okay, Mr. President. Um, Zankala, please. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Nukamba, the issue of first year, why your president is first to declare some message here? Because Nariz on the Monday, Chogera Patania and Ananga Yam office of Command, uh, Cindy, but he in the concerning good because Anangana Morphis Nazio and Akatundi airport. The number two, from a incident, just sticker, ya LGBTQ, and the last protest, Snambere Poyo and Sakapena or Wangala open nama citizen wao kuchana au ii wantuashita so because nga nkuli wa president rungu nabu wataona even ma clips wachitwa kukanyira hatu kuchana ifi sivili muwe hatu stinga vivo mele ife tinama values yatu nama tradition yatu but pali awawewe walichezi stizi yu kutuwa imi lirapat zikomu zikomu hello Hello? 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 Hello, please. Uh, 
Hello. 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 Should you share me? Hello. 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 Yes. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Okay. This is Namakando calling from Kalavo. Okay. Kwa Kalavo. Kwa Kalavo, Mchwani Madala. Ah, Mchwani. Mahende Mchwani. Eh, Kiruna Ba. Eh, let's go. Please go ahead. Yes, Okay, uh, I'm one of those who are following you mm. in your programs, mm. but I'm having a problem with you. Thank you, my brother. Speak it out. People. Yes, I'm saying I'm the, I'm one of those who are following you on this program. Mm -hmm. But now I have a problem with you. Okay. The only problem you are having, Mr. Tayari, is that you are a tribalist. Okay. It's, it's only that the current administration which doesn't allow uh, tribal remarks. Mm. But otherwise, all what you sound, it's just indicating that you are a, a tribalist. Okay. That's why you are trying to convince Bemba, Nyanja, all what you don't want is the, the, the Tonga president or the Lord president. That's why even in mentioning names, Lord's names, Luvala names, the way you mention them, it sounds that you are a tribalist. This is the problem I'm having with you. All what you, you are trying to say is nothing. You just want to convince people so that... He, the, the Tonga president can, can be picked out. That's the problem I'm having with you. You see? I hear but you, other, other issues, other issues, mm. like me, I'm also a UPND, a UPND member, but other issues, I agree with you. But the problem, you don't want the Tonga president. Okay. Yeah? So you agree but what the other you, issues I agree with. Like what you agree with me on what and what? When you talk of uh, something like maybe the delaying of uh, the minimum privacy to go mm -hmm. down the other, other issues. Mm -hmm. But uh, for you to say that uh, this current administration is, is even more weaker than the, 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 the previous one, they are lying because the issue of uh, the issue of corruption, violence, whatever, in PF it was worse. Mm? So okay. now, sometimes at least it, it, it's good to balance up. Thank you, my brother. Mm. You, are, you are basically balancing it up. At least I gave my point of view. You are giving your point of view, which is very good. So we are, we are balancing. Yes, we, 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 we can even... Okay, then that one has cut. Hello? 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 I can hear you. I can hear you the other side. Come on, please speak up. Hello? Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Mm. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Please go ahead. The phone keep keep ringing, keep ringing. So no chance. Please go ahead. Now you have managed. Okay. Um. 
I'm following your program mm. and uh, we appreciate for this uh, platform. I think uh, the issue of uh, President DHH and um, uh, ECL, it's an issue of uh, fear. Maybe uh, the current president has fear because of what he promised. So the fact that the people are now comparing a few of our and what, uh, uh, what is happening, whatever is being seen uh, on the ground, or one of the people Garungu, it's becoming a talk of uh, which is uh, not good. I think the president should concentrate on working. Because the more he's talking about Edgar Lungu, the more people now are seeing what the Edgar Lungu did and what uh, he's doing. Thank you. Then uh, the mm -hmm. other thing is that uh, if uh, uh, UPF can uh, unite, but uh, is is too much in a rush. Maybe I'm advisor of Akwe. I don't know what uh, they're advising. At the moment, uh, to be honest, me, I'm calling from Matero. But Mao Sampa can't do what the moment. Thank you. He has got a lot to learn from. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hello? Hello? Yes, good evening, Mr. Diary. Good evening, sir. All right. Am I live? Yes, you are very much live. Okay, thank you very much. I'd like to contribute something to your forum. Please, go ahead. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I would like to appreciate uh, your initiative for this forum. At least see we are able to get one or two things concerning our nation. Um, concerning the imperative uh, weight which the Republican president used to our former president, I think it is quite unfortunate and he should not be supported by well-meaning Zambians. Then, to the other side, like I heard one caller talking about, uh, to say you are a tribalist. Mm. I think he doesn't understand what is on the ground. There is nothing like tribalism. You are just uh, the ordinary citizens who is very much concerned about the running of the country, which is uh, not going so well. Um, hello? Yes, yes. Please, you are live. Go ahead. Hello? Hello? Okay, that's cut. Hello? Hello? Volume the other side. Volume the other side. Hello? Hello. Hello. Yes, please go ahead. Hello. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Yes. Are you getting me? Yes, but there is there is a volume behind. We can hear the background noise. Um. Yes. Oh, you can hear the background noise. Yes. Uh, okay. Are you getting me now? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. If I'm calling you within the side, okay? Mm. Yes. Uh, good evening, Mr. Terry. Good evening. <coughs> okay. Uh, I'm calling you within the circle. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, I'd also like to appreciate uh, this platform. Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, we think that I, uh, uh, we should know as Zambians, you know, let us not concentrate on what uh, our PF did. Mm. The reason why we voted the uh, UP, ND, and HH is to come and fix the economy. Now, it's like they have run out of ideas. And they don't know what to do. Hence, they, they have started talking about their friends. Mm. Look at the economy. Things are bad. We were told that when they sold in around 10 hours, mm. uh, 14 hours, dollar will be 10 quarter, which is not the case. Mm. The, 
The only thing that I can say is that let the president work. We are watching, we are not happy, people are suffering. There is no money in an economy. Our businesses are down. The people, they don't know what to do. For the first time, the Shylock have gone without money. Please, we are saying that president give us what we promised us. Otherwise, things are not okay. And you should not always say that they borrowed, they borrowed. There was COVID. Yes, we are having some money in our pocket. But today there is no COVID and things are bad. Mm. Thank you, Mr. Tayan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello? 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 Hello, today I'm for you. Hello, Hey, hey. London. Okay. Eh, because Okay. Country is total mess. 
So continue with your program. Otherwise, we are really behind you. Thank you very much. Good night. Thank you very much, Cyrilo. Really appreciate. Thank you. Thank you. Hello? 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 I can't hear anything. Hello? 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 What are you doing? I'm going to go for a minute. I'm going to go for a minute. Tototera, nime wokesi kukitwe. Mkwa. Natuafu wa fiukula nda kuti wale wa kola wa chile wa kwe wa ati mwile wa tribo. Mkwa. We, yes, we appreciate his opinion, but wafuile wa evo kisho kutila amashu huku ya mba mwile wa musango wa chifumi na mwa. Ukutila mwile wa tribo. Imuenga tamurungu ya pafia ma fia tribo dizimu. Nishie wa lechileta. I think Bambi Doku Mikonka Papene. I've been following you even um, during the PF regime. Mm. At some point, I was thinking maybe more support of our opposition. Uh, the way you supported by uh, HH. The Rofia Chinja, Paisa by HH, you are still criticizing. In other words, my minafe pakwe shoko of Rishia Kwavant no Kurandra Kwavant. Efra fine tuari wana wakamu ili kuno ma, muache fio kula la ndani onse pari tribalism. So we all also ndo mo na nishe ulelenga ti ayamashu yale ukwela. Efra fine tuanda na papa la ndani pali walumbu, ati ukurumbu la chimbui, ukumuita. Ngana i karumu ndo tondo mo de kenyi kare tondo. So the way you supported by church, na the only nenga na barufi, na la ndani ni pata na chiluwa na tita chuo ni. Peku kana papa tribalism, the only opinion ya wewe. Thank you for the program, and you can pay the kona mumba umane to me a free dish ako yimo yimo for the talk time yimo le bonsha pa na ta she chine chine na ta tera. Hello. 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 Good evening. Good evening. Alania eshiana babata kudizo. Oh my God. Jesus! Congratulations for, for managing. Wow! I'm telling you. 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 I'm telling you know, it's very funny that uh, every time people raise question and in Gatiabashini Nabantu, they rush to call people tribalists. You know, these things that you're doing, it's the same things that was we're doing in PF. And the topic here is not even about tribe. The topic is about Haka in the Ishlema and Edika Chagwalong. Now, the topic is not about Bemba or Tonga. Uh -uh. It was about Aka in the Ishlema and Edika Chwagalungu. Getting united, stop Ukuba Sonsomba, and things like that, and getting to work. But one thing I've noticed with UPND, they want to stop people from talking by labeling people tribalists. So that you are on form when song or land that, oh, Kaidi, Balanji, but I'm a tribalist. People should not be scared to talk about. Things that are happening because they will be labeled tribalists. It's not right. Because nobody mentioned tribe in this uh, program tonight. Nobody mentioned tribe. Tribalism. Come on, let's be real. You know? Stop threatening people because in in tribes. In, Another thing I wanted to talk about is this. You know, mostly we've noticed that leaders, when they are failing, they rush to intimidation, harassment, you know. We've seen this before. It has happened before. So the first for vengeance healing is measured by the, the, the I mean, the, the failure of um, 
someone governing is measured by the taste for urgency. It seems like the consul Kovalea, you saw that um, where he was commissioning. That, pro that program was not even about PF or anybody else. That program was about diplomacy, diplomatic etiquette, Vakuate Kova UPND. Even the Chinese, the Chinese ambassador was so shocked that he had to mention to say, oh, I had a, what, what, PF, this, PF, that. No, 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 no. Where some programs are concerned, they need to be diplomatic etiquette. That's why but Dr. Nevas Mumba, maybe Baba Landa Kuna Vena, Baba Funda Kopali diplomatic etiquette. Another thing that uh, I wanted to say is about that person that raised the issue to say you don't provide solutions. This what you are doing is solution in its own. This what you are doing is opening by UPND uh, by UPND eyes to say, I want to start a menu because you have given a platform so that people can speak, so that the government can listen to what people are saying. It is a solution on its own. You've provided a platform where the Zambians themselves, instead of Chuvetai speaking, Zambians can call in from all works of, uh, of, the, of the world so that they can call in and speak their mind. It is a solution. All you PND need to do is listen to it and not criticize you and call you a tribalist. Then they can implement things that the Zambians are saying. So if you can learn that, oh, you just criticize, uh-uh. Chiluvetarali has provided a platform for all of you, you in government, the more pressing, to listen Kuvantu, not from Chiluvetarali, but Kuvantu. So that is a solution in its own. Thank, thank you very much. You, thank you, thank you. Hello? 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 Good evening, President Tayari. Good evening. Uh, how are you? Fine, fine. Thank you, sir. I almost gave up. I've been trying also. Your number is busy today. <laughs> give me time now to speak. Okay. Please, I'll give you time. Please talk. Thank you very much. Uh, I am happy about this I mean about the... Is it Cyril from, from Mongo? Cyril, yes, uh, yeah, Cyril. Yes, Cyril is a, is, a, is, a, is a gentleman and he is a, is a Zambia, a proper Zambian. Not the other one who called the complaining about the tribalism. <laughs> no, the problem we've got with these people is, I'll give you a practical example. That's why I said give me at least a, a ample time to, to, to talk. I'll give you. I'll, I'll give you good good minutes, but please be try as much as you can to be brief. I'll be brief, I'll be brief mm. Mr. President. There was a time when I was accused. I will say accused. Mm. He did not former minister of former minister of health, Chirufia, Chirufia. Yeah. I come from Mansa. Chirufia is in Mansa Central, where I come from. Mm. But he was accused of stealing stealing mm. money. Mm. I didn't go to celebrate or to complain to say Chirufia has been arrested because he, because he, he has stolen. Mm. What I said was, if Chirufia has stolen, he has stolen that money alone. And mm. the money and the people that is giving that money is not giving that money to my relatives. Meaning my relatives is not going to get out of who is stealing. My family is asked, Am I going to support it because I come from Mansa? Mm. The answer is no. Now we have got it and in a different way from Abaneswaba. Abaneswaba, they will still support him blindly. Meanwhile, you see, don't support things like the other caller from Mongu, Kalabo. Let's be like Silo from Mongu. If a person has failed, tell him you have failed because, in fact, is it like giving them money to, to feed? Mm. It is true, uh, our pre president has failed completely. We are suffering more than, in fact, in Mukaramba, to be in the United Meaning, I have passed through all these successful governments. Mm. There is no money in speculation. There is a, if you feel coffee pamolo, they promised us when I'm so in at ten hours, at fourteen hours the dollar will come down. I'll be selling meal meal at fifty quarts. Petraiser will come back at two hundred and fifty quarts. Everything. Tapani to bachelor pohona. 
How can you have a normal person supporting and going to thing to let support? Balungu Bali Pangre, if you have quite a right value, Lucien, is also a human being and bound to error. But is it true? We are going to compare your Pangre Balungu and Levi Pangava HH. HH and his business commissioning. Look what I can answer me. You are even a business commissioning project that a person you are being at the go start the Ulam Condemano Com Condemma. Let's be realistic and condemn where it is, it is due and appreciate it where again it is due. Look at the way our president is very vindictive. Ngata baka chinje oyu mutima, baka esa kwa tena muli 2.8, baka muli 0.9. Thank you very much. Thank you very much and good night. Thank you. Hello? Hello? I thought I'd pick that call. Hello? 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 Hello, Mr. President. How are you? Fine, fine. Thank you, sir. Yeah, this is uh, Maxi from Zoloizi. Okay. Yes, I just want to air my displeasure or disappointment. But you are Kateka Vesu. Uh, otherwise, um, we are not so much happy about we had, we had so much hopes in him. Is someone who uh, we were happy uh, that uh, he had become president? Yeah, so now after running through to Asanga, because me personally, I would rather be taken back than being regime balunda fuel fuel uh in the past i was using fuel maybe at 2500 this time i'm using fuel maybe for 4500 5000 eh? and then if you calculate that in a year i'm spending uh an extra maybe about 20 24000 kwacha so i would rather even even uh naripiri radi minaba because they, they used to pay back then about 200 quarter each. Mm. I would even adopt 15 or so and pay for them. Exactly. And then he mm. it doesn't even make sense if you free free education. That's nothing. That's bullshit. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, please don't get emotional. Just uh, make your point. Hello? Hello? Yes, sir. Hello? Hello? That network doesn't look good. Okay, I think I'm getting tired. Let me take just two more calls, two more calls, and uh, we can call it uh, a night. Just two more calls. So, the network seems to be challenging. Hello? Hello? Hello, Kateka. I'm Kai. Mwabombe. Yeah, I'm Kai Mwabombe. Yeah, I'm Kai. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you how to do this program. I'm going to show you how to do this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to do this. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> so, number and I have a I am going to go to the house. I am going to go to the 
President Mm. 
Why why you didn't he call you a tribalist when you were criticizing Edgar Lungu? Because you are not from the same region with the Mungu. Mm. Now today since you are criticizing H H you are a tribalist. Mm. For me, I think that man is the one who is a tribalist because he wants everyone to support H H and not to criticize to criticize him. So uh, I think we shall we just need to forget about it. And then the other thing I wanted to talk about the issue of former president and the, our president. Mm. I don't know if you manage, but whatever I'm going to say, these people they cannot come together and sit at the same table. You know, light cannot sit with uh, cannot sit with the, with the darkness. So these people. Uh, for me, I don't see it coming. I don't see it, you know. Chile Monaco, I want to pick up. I think for that, we need to get no matter what. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think I will end here with, uh, with phone calls. Um, I'll end here with phone calls and uh, close the program. I think we have had a long enough. Now, just to summarize, basically, I mean, in case some of you are just joining in, I know some of you didn't start with us uh, at the beginning. Basically, tonight I was talking about uh, uh, President Edgar Chagualungo. Uh, there are some people that say, no, President Edgar Lungo has not accepted his defeat, is bitter. And my response to that has been that President Edgar Lungo, in spite of what many other people were saying, after Edgar Lungu, after Akai Ndechinema was declared winner, in spite of what other people refusing to accept, Edgar Lungu did accept. There were even some doubts, but he said, no, let's just leave it. So, and from there, he didn't even leave it there. He even went and stood there to hand over power, you know, uh, at Hero Stadium. In spite of uh, people, you know, booing at him, but he, he stood there. So I don't think it is fair for us to say President Edgar Lungu uh, is bitter. President Edgar Lungu has not accepted. Then the other issue is, yes, some people, we are playing Chambo Chanoa and everywhere Rapo. It's not Edgar Lungu is sending us. Edgar Lungu does not participate in politics. PF uh, is going through its, uh, its processes to get to elect a new leader. And at that point, Edgar Lungu will hand over. For now, he still remains president of PF because they haven't chosen a leader yet. I think I'll leave it there. I'm also tired. Uh, thank you very much for following and uh, good night.